Hey there. Have you ever suffered from writer's block? Me neither. But this morning I woke up and I didn't know what I was going to film for a video. I call that CAC block. I said CAC. I just made that up this morning. So I guess the block's not too bad. I've got some creativity inside my brain. But I, uh, sometimes I just don't know what to film. I don't have anything particular going on today. We, we are going to be pairing up some snakes. I'm going to be dropping beats because this is live, even though you're watching a recorded version of it. What the hell? But it's my channel. I figure I can do whatever I want to. It's Monday. We should play some music. Just a little bit. Just to get your day started on the right foot. And then we'll pair some snakes in. Does that sound good to you? It sounds good to me. What you think we're gonna try to do? Maybe take a tiny snakey poo. Take it right back out of the cage. Put it back, back into his place. Have you ever had the writer's block? Would you like to suck up on my talk about the things that we do not want to do? Sing it for you. I just made that up on the spot. Live. Um, uh, when mommy leaves, could we please do some iPad? Some iPad? Yeah, she said we could do some when Noah's done with his school. Did she? Mommy is tripping. She is. Glad we can agree on that. What was that song about? Uh, Cack Block. What do these do? Those help me with my cack block. Oh. Do you know what cack, cack, cack block is? Nope. It's when uh, you can't think of what to film for a video, so you just do something ridiculous. Oh. Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. I hope you enjoyed that little rendition of whatever it was that just happened there. I don't, I don't know what just happened. Can you tell me? Please leave a comment down below if you enjoyed that. I can bring some of that to you every Monday. That was easy. I literally didn't write anything. I just sat down and was like, all right, let's just see what happens real quick, real right now. I, I'm all set up because we were doing uh, Search Bulls Reptiles podcast last night, and I'm doing another live stream today, so I'm not going to break down my stuff. We are going to pair some snakes. I'm going to show you which snakes we're going to pair and tell you a little bit about how I go about doing that as far as like what I do beforehand and uh, what I do as I'm doing it. Also, one quick musical thing before that. So the reason I got so inspired musically too is because I was writing a new theme song, a little intro ditty, if you will, for the Searchable as Reptiles podcast. I had recorded a little video clip and I couldn't remember when I had done it, uh, but I finally found it. It was a little clip. Here, here's the clip of me at Garrett's Airbnb after we had all just ransacked Brian Barchek's Reptarium for a couple days. New podcast intro music beat. With the AOL dial up. People breathing out of it, loading into it. Searchable as reptiles. And so I, I recorded that thinking this is this is the little idea I have for the new music for the Searchable as Reptiles podcast, which last episode, if you missed it, we had Brian Barczyk on. I'll put a link down in the description. If you missed it, you should really check it out. And then we just had my buddy Jimmy Cruz on for this week's one, and that one should feature the new song. Here's what I came up with based on what I sang to myself through the phone the other day. Searchable as reptiles. You like? Is it good? Do you, how, how do you like it? it is, I literally, it was one take. I just, I had that idea in my head and I put it into full band format and that's what I came up with. And Garrett said he loves it and that it fits our podcast. So I'm sticking with it, at least for now. This lighting is just fantastic. I should do this more often. So one of the first pairings we're doing here today is a pastel enchi clown to a GHI Mojave pinstripe het clown. Now what I've done is I've cleaned up her cage a couple days before so that I don't have to bother her and she can just be set and get set back in her nice clean cage and then I get it moist. I get it nice and wet in there to try and simulate some rainy season. And that's especially important this year here in California. It's 
it's a madhouse up there. Because this, this is a La Nina year. La Nina is a weather pattern in the Pacific Ocean that strong winds blow warm water off the surface of the ocean from South America towards Indonesia and cold water comes up off the coast of South America. What that means for us is that it, it's going to be kind of dry. We're not going to have many low pressure systems coming through, which is when I tried to pair up snakes in the first place is when you get that low pressure system coming through. Since we're not having that, I'm really trying to accentuate getting the moistness in there to, to really sim simulate some wet season stuff happening, even though even though that's not what's happening here in reality. That's, you just gotta work with what you got. And the next one we're doing here, you guys probably saw this on a previous video, but uh, coral glow pied to the champagne. And here's the open. Now this is one of two of my most exciting pairings this year. And this is the Enchi Clown Het Pied to our girl, the queen, the Clown Pied. So if we can get some Enchi Clown Pieds out of this, man, I will be super, super stoked. The other pairing I'm equally excited about is this Piebald Het Clown to Coral Glow Piebald Het Clown. And if we can get some Coral Glow Pied Clowns, dude. That's the project that got me into breeding ball pythons in the first place. So if we hit that, it's gonna be a big year for me. Also, we've got our Anchi Lesser Poss Het Sunset Boy, Mr. Pink, going in with Ty, our leopard spider. And check this out, our Anchi Cinnamon Sunset just had a fresh shed, and man, he's looking fantastic. He's just eating food like a champion. This guy is gonna be ready for the girls next season, man. Yeah, I got a propeller hat, la 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 la. That's, that's all the um, pairings for right now. We'll come back down a little bit later and see if anybody's locked up. But for now, um, Hillary is about to take off and I'm gonna be on full-time daddy duty for a minute here. Um, excuse me, daddy, could you please come up? For what? So that mommy could talk to you about doing an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a mouthful of food. I, I've been requested to come up here to talk to you about doing iPad. That's what I'm told. Mm. I told him not to bug you about it or you're not going to let him do any. Oh, you hear that? I, tr I tried to tell him to stop. Thanks. You hear what she said? What? She said that you weren't supposed to ask me about it, otherwise you're not going to do it. Well, what? I didn't, tell him, I didn't know he was going downstairs to ask you. Just I just told asked. him not to bug you about it or you're not going to let him do any. I, was, I wasn't bugging you. Hey. No. What? What do you know? I know. Adams. What about Adams? That they are part of everything. There wouldn't be many things in this whole universe if there were no such thing as Adams. Atoms make up molecule, molecules. Atoms are connected by electrical charges. And that's all I know. Why do you always go like this after, some, after I do what you know? I'm affirming that you're, you're a growing young lad with bright future ahead of you. Hey, Leah. Why'd you take him off? Because I want to. Lay Moon, I got a question for you. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> what happened to your wings?
<laughs> These little nuggets are zonked. As soon as Hillary gets back, we'll go downstairs and see if we got any locks. Guess what? I fell asleep too. <laughs> but I came down and we do have some locks. Mr. Pink doing his thing. All right, buddy. Make it happen, sir. And thanks, thanks for... Thanks for letting him in, Ty. All right. Good times. All right. We got the king getting it in with bubbles. That's a solid one, too. Fantastic. I mentioned this on Instagram, but I didn't mention it here. Sangria is deep in shed from an ovulation. Well, at least what I observed as an ovulation. I'm almost positive it's an ovulation. She's been deep white like that for a hot minute. She's going to uh, give us some eggs this season, I think. Ah, oh, brightness. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed your time with us here today. I'm going to sit down and edit this video into something that is hopefully highly watchable. And you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and see you next time. Bye.